The Bench by Richard Rive Richard Rive was born in District 6 in Cape Town. The Bench is taken from his short story collection, Advanced Retreat, influenced by events during the defiance of unjust laws campaign from 1952 to 1953. The story undoubtedly captures some of the author's own life experience, as he was born in 1931 in Cape Town and grew up in a colored or mixed race area there. Through this perspective, readers learn of the conflicting thoughts of Carly, who is hearing about a world of racial equality for the first time. Prior to this, he has believed in tradition, God made the white man and the black man separately, and the one must always be Baas and the other John. This short story was written during the apartheid system. The bench of the railway station symbolizes South African society at that time. Part of the story. Exposition part. The bench is about a man named Carly who is from South Africa and one of the blacks. He attended a seminar about a series of speeches about unequivocal rights of blacks. Upon attending, he heard a lot of speeches and opinions of speakers about discrimination, racism, and unequal perspective of others toward black people. Rising Auction After the seminar, as he reaches to the station, he is contemplating his ideas he heard from the speakers and remembered that one speaker told the audience, each person must challenge these things in one's own way. Then, he saw the bench that has a sign Europeans only which means it is for white people only. He dared to sit as he challenged himself to the rights of humanity and right for the freedom of the blacks. Climax He is waiting for others to notice him, a black man sitting at a bench that is intended for white people. Then suddenly, he heard the voice rings out, get out of this seat. Then he didn't mind the white man and remained silent while sitting. Then, the white man told Carly to get out of the seat for the second time. Again, he didn't mind. So, the white man called the police and, and the people start gathering to observe what's going on. The police officer arrived and did the same thing. The officer talked to Carly with no respect. They are ordering him to get out of the seat with an angry voice. Then, one of the speakers up at the scene and told the officer that he has no right to speak to that man with no respect. That speaker was the lady in a blue dress. Again, the police officer replied to the lady to mind his own business. While the lady and officer are arguing, a spectator shouted to beat him up if he won't get up. Then rudely, a white man punched him in the face. The crowd turns violent, pressing on, pressing in onto Carly and the officers cuffed him. For Carly, it was useless for him to fight back anymore. Now, it was his turn to smile, then the officer told him, Come and you, come on, you swine. At last, Carly spoke. Uncertainly, he replied with a smiling face. Resolution On Carly's part, he won for he did something that a black man won't dare to do. He realized that there are people who see the equality of others like what the lady in a blue dress did. She showed humanity by standing up for Carly, no matter what his color or race is. And also, it shows the reality of the world that not everyone welcomes everyone in their particular place. Next, Story analysis based on elements. Under characters, we have Carly, a main character and protagonist. Carly is a black man who lives during the era of apartheid in South Africa. Next, the racist white man. He tries to kick Carly off the bench. The racist white man, they are the one who discriminate the black people. Setting of the story. It was published in 1963. The short story is meant to be read as contemporary to time of publishing and is set in South Africa during the apartheid regime. Physical setting The action takes place in November in Johannesburg. The main physical setting is the railway station which represents a crowd of all types of people. Social setting The narrative presents a multiracial society. 
in which white and blacks are supposed to live separately although they share the same spaces. Point of view of the story The narrator is a third-person narrator and it makes the effect that the story could be told to anyone, not just a single person. Conflicts, Man versus Society Tim the main theme in this story is clearly apartheid and how it is possible to challenge some of the discriminatory laws. Second is the contrast between the big city and the small tradition societies. Third, humanity. Message The author's intention with this text was to show the people of South Africa that it is possible to fight for one's right and that is, and that has an effect on people's way of thinking. When Carly is sitting on the bench, there are various attitudes towards what he is doing, and that's the author's intention to show that when someone challenges one of the discriminatory laws, it will provoke a reaction and maybe start a debate that could lead to better condition for the black people. Symbols The most important symbol in this short story is the bench, which also gives its title. The bench initially the bench, initially a symbol of discrimination, comes through Carly's act of symbol of the fight against racism and discrimination in South Africa. By intentionally sitting on a bench reserved for Europeans, Carly makes a defying statement against the established norms and prejudice according to which white and black should not mix, and the former are superior, and the former are superior to the latter.